Whoa, is this Emily following through with something she said she was gonna do? Oh my gosh. Good morning, welcome to LA. It's quite a fresh morning this morning, but the sky is blue, the sun is shining, and it's just always a little magical here. I've been here for like 10 days. I had every intention of vlogging literally the day after I got here. If you watched the last vlog, you would have seen, I was saying that we were in the middle of having some work done. And basically the day after I got here, the work started again. So yesterday, everything was completely finished and I was just cleaning everything up and today we're done and now I can go and unpack my things in the room and yeah it's been 10 days but it's done and I'm like ready to properly unpack my stuff now. It's currently 9 30 I've been up since 6 just working basically I really like to catch the end of the UK work day whilst I'm here for a few hours before I literally do anything with my day and then I'm gonna get ready now and work out and then I'll start my actual day. That's the way I found works for me best kind of exist whilst I'm here so I get to work with everyone in the UK for a good chunk of time and then I work out and get on with my day. I mean it's not the same every day but that's what I'm gonna do today. But there's lots on the list to do today. I would like to go to the grocery store. We're gonna do a Trader Joe's run. It's a Friday. I love Fridays here. I don't know why. I don't get the Friday buzz in London but I really get the Friday buzz here. So I think we're gonna do dinner tonight. I want to go to Soho Home. They've recently opened a Soho Home studio here. I'd like to go and have a look. I need to unpack all of my things into the room i need to sort my bathroom out and basically write a list of like any bits and bobs that i need there's yeah a lot of fun things to do today i'm gonna say if you like these vlogs please give this a thumbs up if you're normally a silent viewer then i would love it if you would give the vlog a thumbs up if you're new here give the vlog a thumbs up i'm the same i'm such a silent watcher of people's vlogs i have people i watch religiously and if they stop vlogging i'd be lost and i'm like emily you just need to like their videos. Why don't you do that? So I've really got into the habit of making the effort to let them know that I really enjoy watching their lives. So if you would like to do that with me today, feel free. I'm in my obsessed with egg season right now, but the eggs here just don't hit the same as Buffer Browns. So if anyone, that lives in the US or specifically in LA can recommend some really good eggs that have really dark yolks. These are the dark yolk ones from Trader Joe's and just not the same. Like what eggs do they use at Egg Slut? Because their eggs here are phenomenal. Everyone keeps telling me I need to just like go to the farmer's market on a Sunday. Maybe I need to try that, but it'd be great to be able to find some like at a grocery store. But for now, these will do. I also need to clear out these drawers. So these are the drawers that have been left here since 2020. I have not cleared them out because I kept saying to myself, oh, I'll do it on the vlog, I'll do it on the vlog. And this is the first vlog. So we, we have to do that today. Welcome to my sanctuary. This is where I get to exist here and thrive here. And you know me, if you watch my vlogs, I love to just potter around. I'm really inspired by the space that I'm in and feeling surrounded by a space that I feel represents me really helps me thrive, if that makes sense. Like a space I identify with. And it just so happened that this room was the next on the list of renovations. Maybe wasn't originally next. <laughs> but it's done now and it is wonderful. Let me show you around and then we can unpack. So this is my space. How perfect is this? Now the bed wasn't necessarily going to stay, but I actually really like it. And I'm just gonna get some like vibey bedside tables, some cool, like a cool rug, something like that. So yeah, it's a really big space. My stuff is all here, so please just ignore that. But oh my goodness, it's gonna be so fun to kind of, you know, make this my own. And then in here is my closet, which is so perfect. I had this all set up previously, but it's all been repainted and any kind of holes in the walls filled. The only things in this room that haven't been done are the light in here needs replacing. We did those ones. And then the switches need changing. But besides that, it is done and it is wonderful and it is clean and tidy and fresh and feels unbelievable and empty. <laughs> Very empty. So oh, let's unpack. Oh, we need to show you the bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. It's a bit of a mess because I've got all of my stuff hanging in here and my mirrors in here that would be in the bedroom so yeah i just need to start moving everything through but this is a really cool space uh, again i've just spent 
the last few days kind of like getting sorted. There was a few people staying here over the last couple of months, just like friends that were in town that came to stay. So there was things left, so I was clearing all of that out and just, you know, getting it back to like zero. So then I can like go from there. But let me show you these drawers, they're awesome. So I adore these drawers. Look how far they pull out. Can you believe that? I have four of them as well, so I'm like, what do I do? Maybe I'm thinking this is gonna be my hair side because my air wraps here, so I think I'm gonna do like a hair draw. And then, I don't know, I don't really have that much makeup here to be honest. I'm, I mean, I do, but not like everyday makeup. Actually, I have some parcels to open with you. This is my everyday makeup, so I'm like, maybe we put that in here? I don't know. I also have this cabinet here that I don't think I'm going to use. This is ancient but it feels wrong to get rid of it because it just feels like part of the house. I don't know, something about it feels quite military. Like this house is very old, but it's got so much history and it's such a charming house that it feels kind of weird to get rid of the things that feel like they're part of the house, if you know what I mean? Like with the house in London, it didn't feel love. Like this house feels like it has a lot of love in it. So like in London, it was easy just to like rip it out. Whereas here it'd be like, uh huh. Can we, can we do that? It doesn't really feel right. I'm like, where, where do we even start? The closet's is pretty big, like I'm really happy with the amount of space I have. I have plenty of room to hang things. I've got a rail, I've got storage up here. I've got room for my bags, my like bits and bobs, my shoes. The only thing I don't have space for is folded things and like underwear. I just need somewhere to put them because if I was to put them on a basket here, I wouldn't have anywhere to put my, my bags. I could put them at the top, but I feel like you reach for them every day. So, oh, pyjamas. I don't really want to hang pyjamas up. That feels a bit unnecessary. Also, we were debating painting the pole. My vote was no, because I feel like it will just chip so quickly from taking things off and on. But let me know, if you were me, would you paint the pole the same color as the rest of the room? I just feel like it will chip so quickly. I don't know though, maybe I've made that up. My Halloween costume, unless for some reason I drastically changed my mind. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be a pirate. Don't have a sword, but I feel like this looks very piratey. I'm, I'm happy with it, okay? It's fine, I'm gonna wear my gorgeous boots and it's gonna be great. Although, I did see someone dress up as Hannah Montana and then immediately regretted this. And I was like, I should have been Hannah Montana. Let's pick a suitcase to open, we'll start there. I think we'll do this one. I don't wanna put it on the bed though, because that's gross. <laughs> I'm so confused how I've just found two more pairs of jeans and I seem to have this many pairs of jeans. These are my like classic Levi 501s that I got from Amazon years ago that I wear all the time, so they're fine. These are the ones that I got from the Rose Bowl flea market, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they are, fine. Love and wear those. These ones are my Loewe, fine. These. Oh, these are my Brandy Melvilles. Again, I wear those. I feel like they're backwards now. What way around should they be? No. Yeah, no, this is fine. These are my Reformation, love them. These are Levi ones. They are, they are all the ones that I wear. That's wild. I mean, I feel like that's a pretty solid denim collection. I feel like I'm sorted with my denim forever now until one of them breaks. I'm taking a quick lunch break and I'm in the closet eating lunch because I've set the camera up and I don't want to move it. So I have the Trader Joe's soup dumplings. I've never tried these. I've heard so much about them. I love dumplings. I, do you know what? I could really eat Ding Tai Fung tonight. These are one of my favorite foods. And if you're ever in the East London area or if you visit London, go to Spitalfields and try Dumpling Shack because they have the best pork soup dumplings ever. Oh no, they're stuck together. I mean, they're okay. Like they're good. They're hearty, they're warming, they're a soup dumpling. But you know when you feel like you've already had the best of something? I feel like I wish I'd tried these first. I mean, they're definitely good and I'll definitely get another pack to keep in the freezer. But if there are any other Trader Joe's foods I need to try, please let me know. I see they have these like mini brie things at the moment that are literally just mini brie's. I really wanna get those. They have so much like pumpkin spice and autumnal like themed things. It's so much fun. I feel like the first one, all of the soup had come out and there was none left. Okay, they're definitely way better with the soup in. My rating has uh, increased. I feel like with some appropriate sauces, like with a nice sauce concoction, it would be great. Anyway, back to what we're actually here to do. This is how we're looking. I still have a suitcase full of clothes, but they're all summer clothes. And although it's warm here, people actually do dress for the seasons. Like there's people dressed in knitwear and things right now. It's really crazy because I feel like where I come from, it's for a reason. But I feel like people here are just like, yeah, let's put a sweater on because it's October. 
which is, I mean, fair. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Very, very happy with it. I feel like I'm pretty satisfied with like my collection of clothing here right now. So let's, let's get the shoes in. <laughs> finally done in here and this is how it looks i've got my bags over here my shoes here more shoes just all around the bottom i do think i'm gonna get some kind of shoe rack so let me know if anyone knows where i can get a good one i did look on amazon but the delivery times are like 10 days which is wild and then this is the situation now i may change this around but for now i've got like workout clothes t-shirts dresses trousers jackets but i may switch the dresses and the trousers around i feel like that makes more sense i don't know but then up there i've got things that i would traditionally put in drawers and obviously i don't have any drawers and then moving around i have my hats and my belt which is quite nice that that blocks some of the light because obviously that's directly opposite my bags which maybe i need to think about getting like a film or something for that window because i don't want my bags discolored the next job is bringing a mirror through i think i might put it there I don't know, there is a wire I need to cover in this corner, but I think there's nicer and then you can see like the bed in the background and I'll get some like nice bedding and it will look quite good. What do you think? I mean it could go there, or it could go there. I'm going to leave it for now and we'll have a play. It depends what other furniture we get in here, but obviously it's empty right now. So it doesn't really make a difference. So in here are all of the products that I left here in January 2020 and then didn't come back for two years, over two years, two and a half years. So the majority of them have probably gone off. Some are unopened and sealed, will be fine, but it's gonna be really funny because I guess these were like my favorite products at the time. And I, for the life of me, cannot remember what is in here. I've obviously had a little sneaky look, but I just kind of poured it all into a bag and we can have a look. And I also had a makeup situation here which i'll show you afterwards but we'll do the toiletries first l'oreal l net that's fine i can keep that sleepy body lotion from lush i mean it smells fine when did this go off um yeah december 2019 but it smells okay and it looks exactly the same so i think i'm just gonna keep this oh my gosh two-faced hangover setting spray i used to love this you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lay a bunch of them out and show you, otherwise this is gonna take hours. How wild is this? This is what we're working with. So these are some of my absolute favorite skincare products. The La Roche-Posay Anthelios Spray Sun Cream, the Everclar Duo. This isn't even Everclar Duo Plus, that's how old it is, something's leaked also. This is from Galan, I love that. And who remembers my obsession with the L'Oreal Overnight Elixir? Oh, I love that. This has just continued now, and now I have two here somehow. The TLC Baby Facial by Drunk Elephant, that's still an incredible product. Everyone still loves that one. And then my, two of my favorite creams from Kiehl's. So this is the Gel Ultra Facial Cream. I love the normal one as well. And then this is the Midnight Recovery Cloud Cream. Again, great. I remember buying these from Sephora. Such a shame I didn't get to finish them, but we'll, we'll see how they look. And then two of my favorite perfumes. These are Juicy Couture Original and Juicy Couture Glistening Amber. The things fall off for some reason. And then hair things, I've got Inexus Shampoo and Conditioner. These were from Coachella in 2020. This was April. No, yeah, April, April time? No, year before 2019. This blow dry cream from Drybar, uh, Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. Yeah, this is my favourite hairspray ever by Sam McKnight. It smells unbelievable. A couple of fake tans, Bondi Sands, aerated, and then the Saint Tropez. Then just some bath things, some makeup, and then obviously some dried out wipes. So I'm going to see what I can salvage from this, and then we'll move on to the makeup. Guys, look what I've also just found. This is a Nails Inc. Chesham Street. This is my favourite nail colour ever, and it's so similar to the one I've got on. Like, can you see? I think it's slightly different, but so close oh this has made my day i bought this off ebay because they discontinued them and i had an alert and every time it would come up on ebay i would buy them all i think i got this originally like a christmas set from my auntie one year and or maybe even from in my stocking from my mum i feel i have a feeling it's from my auntie for some reason but love it and i found something very similar and here is the makeup setup so it's a set of muji drawers and oh my goodness this is like so crazy oh wow the wispies i love those what's this Outdoor from nars i don't remember that oh that's stunning oh 
oh my goodness i love this from l'oreal the pro contour that was amazing and ofra is this one that i really like rodeo drive i think it is oh my gosh it is wow and then in this drawer we have some laura mercier some smashbox oh i forgot about this i loved that some of the i still use so many of these products today like i use this in my brow routine i use this i don't use this anymore but my expected to have some calorie come through i forgot how much i loved the lash paradise and then in here we have oh my goodness so many lip colors oh i forgot about the bare minerals glosses i used to love those maybe i'll get a new one of those the Too faced born this way concealer and then another pack of wispies gosh i don't even wear false lashes anymore and then in this drawer oh my goodness the Marc jacob brownie eyeliner they discontinued that and then in this drawer we have some powders oh i love this from dior that was amazing look my favorite i still loved it back then and again amazing is this yes cash food. and again i still use this that's so crazy i really found my favorites and then up here of course we have the laura mercier translucent powder oh iconic illuminating drops forgot about those a this is not old this is relatively new and then just a bunch of brushes again still my favorite wait let me move these i don't use that anymore but i could see myself using this again for concealer uh what else i don't think i use any of these other ones anymore but definitely the beauty blender i use but this so good i mean i don't see myself using these so i think i'm just gonna clean them out and see if any of our friends want them but yeah how crazy all these things it's like a previous life the hoodie's on because we just got back from trader joe's and never go to the grocery store with no clothes on because it's freezing i've got this on i've got a pair of jeans and then my fluffy bucks but let me show you what i got now some of it is for a youtube video so i'm not going to show you that because i'm going to be doing a taste test so the fun stuff is not going to be here but it's a food haul nonetheless and there is no produce because we're going to go to the farmer's market the weekend that is why so starting in this corner we had just some roast chicken breast this is great just to have in the fridge and yeah i put it in sandwiches have it just and you know i'm like i love rotisserie chicken i love cold chicken and then i got some of the soup dumplings that i had today so these are the pork ones i also got the chicken ones to try got some mozzarella just some craving mozzarella i'll probably just eat this like the whole bowl right now just i don't know you know when you get food things that you're really in the mood for i got some salted butter some greek yogurt this is like my favorite dessert at the moment some orange chicken some eggs these are the ones that i've got in at the moment some chicken sausage i was looking for literally exactly this like last time we went grocery shopping they didn't have it but this is new in it's a sweet italian chicken sausage so these are great i was trying the heck ones the other week i'm really into it i got the sweet potato gnocchi some almond butter cups that we uh demolished half off on the way home these are amazing salmon pinwheels so it's like feta and spinach and i got these last time we went grocery shopping and and they were so good and then some lemons some blackberries because i'm really in the mood to have porridge so i was thinking i could do blackberries with these pecans on top like a nice sweet kind of thing in the morning some chocolate covered pretzels uh some coconut aminos and i also got some chocolate i need some cooking chocolate so i thought i would try this one but they had two different types of dark chocolate, but I just kind of went for this one and we'll see how it is. But yeah, this is a very tame Trader Joe's haul. So we got back from Trader Joe's and a couple of our friends came over and we were just chilling and then James went to his thing and he should be back any minute. And then we're going out for dinner. So I'm just quickly talking myself up. Our friends are still here, so I haven't been able to chat to you too much, but yeah, I'm just talking my makeup up. And then we are going to go to dinner. Normally a Friday night dinner getting ready for me would look really different. I would like take my time, I'll go on like TikTok live and chat to everyone, but I, I'm i not gonna like ask my friends to leave so I can do that, do you know what I mean? All right, let me show you the super simple outfit of the night. I've got just a vest top on from H&M, blazer is mango, jeans are Levi's from the Rose Bowl flea market, I've got my, uh, what are these? It's my low dunks. And then I've got my gorgeous little velvet Chanel bag uh, that is black. But for some reason, I just seem to think it's navy and I don't think it is. It's definitely black. I adore this bag. Super quick cash day to night look. We always tend to end up going somewhere that includes walking. So can't wear nice shoes. <laughs> Good evening. We're back from dinner. It was 
really, really good. I can't remember for the life of me what the place is called, but it was one of the ones on our list to go to. And it was, it was, it was like, I, I'd say the food was like a seven out of 10, but like the whole environment of the place was like, you know, solid. So it was worth going to and I really enjoyed it. But it was a bit of a novelty place that I don't necessarily think I would rush back to. But in saying that, if like one of my friends wanted to go or something, I would still go back because the food was good. But do you know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's like, you're not just going for great food, you're going for like everything else that comes with it. It was, it was a cool place. We are now currently halfway through Hereditary. So I just thought I'd step out <laughs> back into the real world for a moment to say goodnight and I will see you in the morning. And I think we're gonna start the day of the hike tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. So I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.